Hi, Colin Lay here with Lay Roots, and I want to talk to you about protecting your home equity. Um, so, as an asset protection attorney, um, I get questions about uh, how to protect that home equity from creditors um, and real estate in Seattle is hot right now. Um, a lot of people, if you've purchased your uh, property a while ago or even maybe just a few years ago, you can have quite a bit of home equity. I met people with $2 million of equity, um, a lot of other people with you know a few hundred thousand. Um, it can represent a significant chunk of a person's uh, nest egg. Um, so people are wondering, is my house safe uh, from creditors, lawsuits, judgments, that sort of thing? So the answer is sort of. Uh, in Washington State, you can protect up to $125,000 in equity in your home. So uh, basically, if your house has more equity than that, and somebody has a judgment against you, there's a creditor after you, whatever, um, they can come in and sell your home and take uh, whatever is above that $125,000 exemption. So, um, you know, you got $500,000 in equity, uh, they can sell it, you get that one twenty-five, dollars and they get the difference, whatever that is, $375,000. Um, so uh, the answer is, as long as you've got less than 125000 in equity, uh, your home is safe. If you've got more than that, then your house is not safe. Um, so how do you avoid that or what kind of planning can you do uh, to protect the extra equity in your home? Um, there's a number of ways. One common way is what's called equity stripping. So if you take some of that equity and get maybe a um, um, home equity line of credit or something like that, that puts an additional lien on your house that um, might make it look like you don't have as much equity in your home. Um, another way is that I recommend for some people is a asset protection trust. Uh, so basically that's a trust that uh, protects a trust property from creditors, but it also does not ruin or uh, blow your capital gains exemption uh, for your personal residence if you end up selling it. Because um, that's something some people might do is try and put their house in an LLC, um, and that's a mistake because, um, well, it's not a real business if it's just holding your uh, personal home, and therefore it's not going to really provide you with any protection um, since it's essentially a sham business. Um, and also if it's owned in an LLC and it's not owned personally, then you're not going to get those capital gains exemptions uh, when you sell the property. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions or anything, uh, hit us up, support at layroots.com. Take care.